In the eight years of reviewing cars on this YouTube channel, I don't think I've ever had a Nissan Rogue. I've driven them before, but I've never had it for a full week to review. Obviously, I've driven the Nissan Murano and more recently the new Nissan Pathfinder, a vehicle I really liked. You can check out that review in the iCards or the description down below. But uh, let's get a closer look at this car because I think I really like it too. So for 2017, the exterior design has been refreshed and I think it looks really good. Brings it into line with um, the rest of the Nissan lineup. I really like the headlights. Um, I really like the uh, just the overall look of the car. It's uh, It looks great. Now this is a smaller crossover, but um, you get a lot of good space in this car. And there will even be a few models that have third row seating. Under the hood is Nissan's 2.5 liter engine, pushing 170 horsepower, 175 foot-pounds of torque, and that's matched up to a CVT transmission. It's not the best setup, but it gets the job done for this little SUV. Now this is the all-wheel drive version. We haven't taken it off-road or anything, didn't anything that the all-wheel drive called for, um, but if you live in a snowy area, I'm sure it's good. If you're looking for a small SUV that's got all-wheel drive, can kind of go anywhere, Check out the uh, Jeep Compass that we reviewed not too long ago. I really like that, and it's around the same price. So the interior in this car is really nice, especially in this upper trim, and I've noticed that that's uh, kind of becoming a theme in these last couple of years with Nissan. The new Maxima, the new Pathfinder, the new Murano, and then this new Rogue. All of them really nice interiors. Now let's take a drive and uh, see how this thing drives. So in two-wheel drive mode, the 170 horsepower from the engine doesn't seem that sluggish. It's actually a, a pretty smooth delivery. You have the CVT transmission, which uh, kills it a bit, but they're a lot better than they used to be. And for a lot of people, you won't even know the difference. I really like this new steering wheel. It's more sporty looking, it's more sporty feeling, and they're putting this in a lot of the uh, Nissans nowadays. This isn't a sporty crossover, but having this sporty steering wheel just makes you feel like it's a little bit more sporty than it is. Fuel economy is rated at 25 city and 32 highway with a combined of 27. We've been averaging about 24 miles to the gallon. So it's a little bit less. Obviously we uh, push it a little bit harder than we normally would for normal driving. There's not a whole lot to say technology wise um, with the infotainment system. It, uh, it works fine. You can plug in your iPod or your phone and listen to music, but there's nothing too flashy about it. On safety technology, on the other hand, there's a lot that this car does. You do get a premium Bose audio sound system like you do in a lot of Nissan vehicles. Uh, and it's uh, it's really good for, you know, more low-end market car. It's a really nice sound system. And that brings us to the price. So this car that I'm sitting in is $35 thousand dollars for a Nissan Rogue. It is nice. It's got nice leather, nice features. I'm not complaining too much about that $35,000 sticker price with uh, with this interior, but it is more than I would expect to pay for a Nissan Rogue. So if you're looking at the competition, you can look at the Toyota RAV4. Um, you can look at the Hyundai Tucson. You can look at that Jeep Compass that we reviewed not too long ago. Um, I really like the Jeep Compass. I really like the Hyundai. Um, and I really like this car. I mean, it's, it's great for what it is. So after a full week of driving the Rogue with the family, I give it a solid thumbs up. Um, I like it. It's, a, it's very comfortable, easy to drive, nice interior. 
I would want a better infotainment system um, in my car. But other than that, I think this is a pretty solid vehicle. And for $35,000, there's a lot that you can choose from. This is a very competitive market. Um, so shop around and drive a couple of things. But uh, this, this is up there in my top five. All right, guys, I hope you liked that review. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>